Hey guys, this week's Flats Class YouTube video tip is going to be about top water. I'm going to tell you a little bit about when to use it, where to use it, and what equipment you're going to need. Stay tuned. One of the questions that we have to field at Flats Class YouTube is how are you catching redfish this summer on top water? Well, top water is always a strong bait to throw in low light situations or on real cloudy or rainy days. Uh, this season, I've been throwing it mostly at first light when the water's the coolest and the fish are the most active. So if you're thinking about throwing top water plugs, you really need to focus on throwing nighttime, first light in the morning. If you've just had a thunderstorm or you've got some light rain where you've got muted light, that's excellent time to be throwing top water. So I want to share some basics of top water plug fishing that you're going to need to know. Uh, one, one of the questions that's asked often is, what length rod do I need? Well, there's a lot of variables there. I prefer rods between six foot, eight inches, and seven foot long. You want a rod that's comfortable so that you can work it in a downward twitch motion or from one side or the other. You don't always have to work the rod up. Longer rods sometimes are, are toilsome to try to accomplish that mission. So, for instance, I've got a Falcon Buku SR. This is a five power rod. This is six foot eight. I've got it with a small bait casting setup here, but you could throw this on a, on a light spinning rod as well, and you're gonna find a lot of seven foot rods will accomplish that. You're also gonna notice that when I'm throwing a top water lure, I'm throwing a short, a very short leader. The key with a short leader, guys, is the fact that if you have a long leader, you're gonna get a belly like this in the line, and it's gonna dampen the action of the plug. So you don't want three, four feet of fluorocarbon leader you're only going to want probably somewhere between 15 and 20 inches a liter. And don't skimp. You should be using 30 or 40 pound liter, not light liter. Heavier liter allows you to cast this thing and the front hook won't catch the front of the, of the, uh, of the liter material. The other thing you're going to notice is I like to use a loop knot. The loop knot gives me a lot of side-to-side -side action with my bait where I can just jump a little bit of slack in the line and I get maximum movement with a walking bait. Those are the keys to topwater plug fishing. And you can't over-reel the bait. Remember, when you're working that rod tip down, concentrate on the tip of the rod and make sure you're seeing that snapping jerk of the line. And don't over reel the, the, the rod. If, if you try to reel too fast, you dampen the walking action and it gets too tight. You want nice, long, wide walks uh, that, that emulate mullet. That's really the simple tip that I can give you for topwater plugging. Now, the last thing you really need to know is when the fish comes up behind the plug, don't get buck fever and try to set the hook. I never set the hook on a topwater plug. I work the bait, work the bait, work the bait. When the fish eats the lure, I just come tight, I pull tight, and I reel down on the fish, and that's it. I hope this helps your topwater fishing like it has mine. 